Hey, good morning, Montana Haven, Alaska Edition family. <laughs> this is my first bought and coffee for like a month. Yeah. Got a long way to go and a short time to get there. We are headed to a coffee house. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna get ourselves some coffee going a little a little date. Mini date. Yes. On the way, on the way. <laughs> on the way to it. Yep. <laughs> to the chiropractor. <laughs> yep. So I'm uh, doing 10 sections of the low level laser light, kind of like red light therapy, infrared light therapy. So, ooh, right, looking right in the sun here. For his feet. Yeah, for my feet. So um, this will be the second one today. I don't know, I don't have like a ton of faith in it, but I guess if it helps a little bit, then that's fine. That's good. Well, that's great, actually. <laughs> so, I, I think it's good. I mean, there's a lot of testimonials of it helping um, heal up feet. But anyways, hey, welcome to this week's video. As always, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but uh, thanks for hanging in there with us. And I yes. uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, look at that foam. It's my favorite part of the coffee right yeah. there. This seriously is the best coffee place here in Crema Wasilla. Coffee House. You've yes. got to stop in. It's so best good. place in Wasilla. There is his feet down there. <laughs> so nice to be out of the house. Oh, yeah. We just, just need to do this every once in a look while. Look at the mountains now. Now that I can get outside, my feet are still. They kind of hurt a little bit, but it's fine. That they're getting better every day. So, yep. yep. So happy to be outside a little bit. See some blue sky sunshine. Hi. So uh, today Ethan and I are starting to cut down some trees for the little lean-to that we're going to make. Um, we're going to cut dead spruce down and here's one. This tall one here. So I'm going to cut this one.
So these are the post braces that go off of 45 off the post. Well, I decided to take advantage of this beautiful sunny day and sit outside here on the porch. I got my legs covered up with the blanket here. It's a chilly, oh, it's looks like it's below freezing here, um, around 30 degrees, I suppose. But, oh, it's blue skies, and I'm so grateful uh, that I can soak up some sun because it looks like this could be the last sun in a little while. You can hear the boys chainsaw running over here and they are starting to build a little lean-to roof just to put like our ATV and our wood splitter and our bicycles and stuff underneath just because we just don't have any good storage space around here so they're doing that oh man it's hard for me to sit here but you know what it's probably one of the best things that I can do for them is literally they are so good at going ahead and building stuff and really, really really using their imaginations and asking me questions and then just going ahead and doing it. So it's actually a great learning process for them and I'm not there to coach them every single minute. And it makes them grow fast and, and they're very capable. So I'm really thankful. They're only 16 years old, but they're, there's two of them. So they work together most of the time really well, sometimes not. Uh, but generally they they do really well and when they work together well they get they can get a lot done so super grateful now I just look at this sun that I'm looking at this is middle of the day and that's as high as the sun's gonna go this is in now in November and it is just coming up over the horizon that's as high as we're gonna find it and the grass we ended up not mowing the grass we just wanted to let it get as much root as possible and then it's going to be thick in the spring but we'll mow it in the springtime i suppose and then yep we moved our trailer we had some trailers out there we moved all those over here and we're just doing some cleanup and the boys are making that little shelter so we got some friends coming over this evening here in a couple hours for dinner and so looking forward to that Today we've got something we want to show you. These are like a backup battery that are really amazing. And just for example, last night multiple times and this morning the power went out. Um, so these, these units are extremely helpful. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Here's a power button. You simply hold that for a few seconds and it comes on and it says we're at 64% charge coming out of the, the from the factory first of all you can power a lot with this thing for a long time so if the power would go out i would simply take like our freezers and plug our freezers in here uh, because we've got a lot of our moose meat and our bear meat and everything that we cannot let spoil so this is ideal for that this is really neat here because this is an rv plug so i could literally hook up my rv and we could run the rv with this thing for a considerable amount of time you've got four AC outputs here, uh, 20 amps. Um, you've got an output for a, like a cigarette uh, plug-in. And then you've got these guys for a, a different set of uh, DC output as well. And you can hit DC and it'll come up showing um, all of the DC information here. You can hit AC and there it'll show up uh, with the AC. One more thing is on this side, 
it's got multiple ways uh, to charge this. So you just flip that open and here it's got a regular AC plug. The other thing you can do, it comes with a variety of cords. Look at all these cords it comes with. You can hook up this guy. Here's an Anderson plug. I'm not super familiar with those, but a lot of newer vehicles have those. Uh, you've also got uh, this one here where you can plug it using your car uh, cigarette lighter. And this one here, you can hook up and use this. Uh, it comes with, you can get solar panels with this and it's a fast charging with solar panels as well. So you can hook up multiple solar panels and use it to charge it that way. And then one final thing uh, is you can actually on this other side here, turn it around. So on this side, you can hook up multiple batteries. So you can get additional battery packs and you could really uh, set it up for a long, run a long time. So let's, let's plug it in and see, run a few things, see how it does. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this little button right here and boom, you can see all of them come on. So they're all charging, all four of these. See, they're all charging. Now let's plug in our power tool. Time to plug in some kitchen appliances. There's a vacuum. There's a vacuum. Now we all know, ladies, that these flat irons take a lot of juice. So let's see what this thing's got to show for us for itself. There we go. Okay, it's turned on, and we can see it's pulling juice right here. And let's pull. Let's uh, plug in our blender as well. Blenders take a lot of juice. Now. We're gonna run all of these items at the same time. So right now our iron is going. You can see it's on. Not a problem, it's handling it like a champ. The main reason I want it for power outage. Or we can take it when we go traveling in our RV this summer, next summer, uh, as a battery, as a backup. Uh, we can take it when we go out on our boat, uh, out on like uh, the islands, because we can charge all kinds of devices and use it to run things. Uh, it's just a super handy thing to have around. It does weigh about 48 pounds, uh, but it's to be expected. So it's not something you just throw in your backpack and take, you know, back country, but it is something that if you drive somewhere or have wheels or you keep it in your house, it sure, I think is gonna be, uh, has a lot of value. All right, a couple more things I just wanted to mention is that it is more affordable than compared to some other brands. It's about 54 cents a watt. It does have 2,048 watt hour capacity. It's got a 2,500 watt AC inverter and a 5,400 watt surge. It's got maximum of 1,600 watt AC charging and maximum of 2,100 watt solar charging. It's got super fast charging, only 1.3 hours by the wall outlet and only 0.6 hours by AC and plus solar panels if you have those. It's expandable. Um, it's got adjustable recharge. So if you wanted to charge it fast or you can ch recharge it slower if you want from 800 watt to 1600 watt input. It's got the battery. This is pretty cool. The battery's got 3500 plus life cycles to 80%. That means you can charge it a lot of times. 15 outputs for multiple devices. And the last thing I really like is the output for the RV. Well, thank you so much for letting us show you a little bit about this Megatube power station. Hope you guys enjoy it. And remember, just click on the link in the description box, and that's going to get you right to the page where you guys can get one of these for yourself if you would like. Now, it's back to the regular rest of the video. Okay, good morning. Um, <clears throat> this morning, I'm going to start working on the lean-to that we're going to make. Ethan's teaching school right now, so he can't help me, but after that, he's going to come and help me. So, the first thing I'm going to do is take these long 16-footers and screw the posts onto them with 6-inch uh, log screws. And then uh, want, lean one on here, then the other down on the ground, then I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to screw it on. Then... Uh, we're gonna put the braces on and after that I can put the joists on and then they'll be so it shouldn't take too long but it's gonna be a little hard to set them up without anybody helping so I might have to get someone to help me then but for now I'm gonna start on that
braces for the posts here. There he goes. I gotta crawl out and help Justin and Ethan a little bit. Trying to figure out how to build this thing. I need some exercise anyways. Looks like they know what they're doing. This is kind of a crude little shelter, but it's kind of neat that we're going to be able to just at least just store things out of the snow. That's kind of the whole idea of it. I don't like to have things laying around in the snow. Till we get a garage or something figured out. It's basically 8 by 16 is what it is. Well, I think I'll leave them to it. They're doing a good job. They get a little bit discouraged when they think they can't get it done properly, but they can get it done. And I continue my journey here. Ugh. Gives me some, works off all, this helped me work off all my excess energy that I have from sitting around in the house in the army crawl. We've put all the braces up now and also the roof we've squared off. Put the two uh, two by four fours on on each side right there and there so that uh, it's square. Now we're gonna put the remaining two by fours on there. We're positioning the ends of these rafters to the um, string line so they're all the same length overhang. Okay, we're gonna go check on Justin and Ethan how they're doing. Well, here it is. Um, we still have to put on the OSB and waterproof it, but got everything else done. Looks pretty nice, I think. Okay, time for supper. Guys, I don't mean to humiliate him, but this is just a little funny. Yeehaw! <laughs> he Good crawls. to be outside, even if I gotta crawl, right? Yep, crawls out to the truck. We're heading for another laser treatment for him, plus we have a few errands to run in town. So he'll be with me, and we will enjoy that. I haven't gotten up in the truck before, let's see how this goes. Yeah, he's only gotten up in the car. Huh? He's doing great. Got it. Yep. Those knee pads are great. <laughs> okay, we got him here lying on this table again. Mm -hmm. Getting some laser treatment done. They do some on his back here and then on both sides of his feet. They do some for pain and also just for healing. So we hope this works along with a lot of other things we're doing. <laughs> Well, Wyatt and I are taking this Christopher's 
BF and C powder with comfrey. It's a, uh, let's see, what is it called? Complete tissue and bone. And this is something I've been taking, but because the FDA doesn't allow comfrey to be sold for internal use, um, this one has got comfrey in it. It says for external use only. It's the same thing as this. So we're bottling, we're making our own pills. This is just powder. We're taking it and putting it into these capsules so that I can take it because comfrey is super healing. It's really um, good. Now you don't want to take a lot, too much comfrey can be bad, but um, this is not a problem, the amount I'm taking. So it's going to be good. So we're just doing all this and we just had a little accident where we just dumped a whole bunch, but we got it cleaned up again. And we're back at it. It can do, I think, 24 capsules at a time. It's definitely time consuming, but there's not really any other way to take it. The stuff is gross if you take it just by powder. So. Just doing it this way. You gonna help, Chloe? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Avalon is making dinner because Mom is out on an errand. We have to put all the bottom pieces, the long pieces in there and the short pieces in here. Then we dump it, dump the powder in there. And we fill that up, tamp it down, and then we press this top part on. see if we can do this without making a mess this next time here. Oh yeah, we need that base to be wet. Okay, why well, I can do it this time. Okay, try to not get it over the edge here if you can wide, okay? Scrape it back and forth. And then we'll tamp it down with this tamper. Pack it in there a little bit. Okay, scrape again. It is time consuming, as you can see. But you do whatever it takes to get nutrition in your body, I guess. Right, let me scrape it a little bit here, Wyatt. Give that a whirl. Now we just push it down. not seeming like it's gonna go and I don't know why oh and push it together and we hope that it's these pills yay there they are all of them worked now we go like this kapow okay Simple as that. Well, I came home from a hair appointment and it's a little bit later and here he is helping Avalon make dinner for us, which is so nice. Moose steak. <laughs> yep, moose steak. You wanna grab this, Chloe? And then Avalon made these bars over here. We will have a pretty good dinner tonight. On our way to Another round of feet treatment. Yeah, uh, three times a week. We do it three times a week, so yeah. Not 
10 total. Yeah. So it's just good to get out of the house. It's a little uh, cloudy this morning, but also um, you kind of see where the sun's coming up. It looks like we had our bout of cold and clear weather, and now it's uh, looking like maybe a little bit of uh, rainish snow for the next week or so. And this morning early, uh, Justin and Ethan went deer hunting with Michael yes. and three of his children. And they went with our boat uh, that Michael's and us have. And they went out into the, uh, or they're going out to the um, Prince William Sound to one of the islands um, to hunt black, uh, black-tailed deer. And this is something that I had really looked forward to. <laughs> um, but obviously, now I'm gonna live it through them and it'll yeah. be next year maybe I can do it or something but uh, it's gonna be quite a deal this is the first time that I have gone um, have not gone like hunting with them they've gone by themselves well they're not by themselves they're with Michael but you know they're gonna be in their own tent and making their own food and all the things they had got all their gear ready practically all by themselves and so I'm really proud of them for you know digging in and, and doing all that so I've I've hunted eight seasons with them now, so I've taught them a lot, and I feel confident that they uh, are going to do a great job. Yeah. But it's still kind of. It's a little scary because <laughs> it's a totally different place. It's out. They have to go out in the water to an island, you right. know, and it could be really choppy the water. But they were watching. Yeah, the weather. The weather and stuff. So. It's going to be a great experience. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm sure. I just keep praying for them yep. for safety. And that they get something. Yeah, that would be yeah. awesome. I, we don't really know. This is gonna be our first uh, jab at, at it, so we don't really know how uh, well the deer hunting is on this particular island. It's better further out, but you'd have to go out a couple hours, and they didn't want to risk that the first time out. So right. they're just going to a closer island, and I think it's just gonna be a great experience. They're gonna be gone probably only three or four days. They say black tail is re are oh, really yeah. good. They're like they small white tail, you know, like the size of maybe a small white-tailed doe or something. Uh, they're, they're pretty small, but uh, I think, yeah, like Priscilla said, the meat is really tasty. <laughs> okay, kiddos, who's ready for a little surprise? Mm. Guess what it is? Donuts. <laughs> you got it. Yay! Mm. Woo! Mm. 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 Brought home some donuts. The girls are being real silly here. <laughs> Gives them something to do when the chores are done. <laughs> oh my, funny, funny. Wyatt is out squirrel hunting. I'm getting some squirrels. Hopefully, I'd love to have some fresh squirrel meat. <laughs> you know what, Wyatt was squirrel hunting and Wyatt! What's going on? Your first squirrel. Good job. What do you want to say for yourself? <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, wow. What, where'd you shoot it? I shot it on the other side of our, our marsh. But where did you hit the hit it? Uh, I don't know where I hit it first, but it was like... Right in the in head the, somewhere? Yeah, or so, sort of in the neck. Oh, that's a good shot, Wyatt. I told him to try to hit it in the head. Good job. Why well, are you going to skin it so we can eat it? <laughs> yeah. Nice. I love it. Good job. I can't wait to have some fresh squirrel meat with his BB gun. That's just great, buddy. Wyatt and I just took care of the squirrel right here on a little cutting board right in my lap. And we just completely skinned it. And now there's the squirrel. He's got to still clean it up. The heart and the liver and the body. So he's going to wash it up. We're going to eat it. Oh, squirrel is so good. Nice work, Wyatt. Yay. So if we eat, if we shoot something, we try to eat it, unless it's like maybe a possum or something. No, I've never had possum. Anyways, I gotta go clean up now a little bit, crawl over to the sink and wash up. Well, tonight the menu is yellowfin tuna. Can you believe this? The guy that we built the house for went to California and they got yellowfin tuna. So I just made, and, and a moose burger. They made this pan just blazing hot. And uh, we're just gonna sear this tuna for about 45 seconds on one side and then we're gonna turn the heat down a little bit for about another minute and then do about a minute and a half on the other side. I got oil, salt, pepper rubbed into here. 
Oh, I am so looking forward to this. It's going to be absolutely delicate chocolate. One thing about tuna is you do not want to overdo it. It just ruins it. Oh, right there. Right there. Well, today I'm going to do something different I haven't done before. I'm going to go on a walk, or shall we say four-wheeler ride. Well, you'll see what the four-wheeler looks like when we get outside. But I got to be, I got to figure out how to do things like get my coat, get my hat. I haven't worn this hat for over a month now. It's kind of fun wearing my hat again. Got dressed warm. Gonna go out on a ride. Oh, here comes my four wheeler now. There it comes. Let's give me my four wheeler ride. I'm gonna try to propel it myself. All right, here we go. Oh, got it. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull myself for a while. Okay. Not too bad. Won't break any speed records. <laughs> I'm up to one and a half miles an hour. I can do this. Line. I can do it. Cross the line. Yay. And I won. <laughs> won what? Won my first ride. Ah, that was a workout. Good though. Okay, now I'll let you. You'll understand it all by and by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. definitely tell that was a little hard on my heels they were kind of jiggling and bouncing but uh, I did get some upper body exercise but I think I got to hang out here for a while keep my heat, feet up and quiet uh, they're kind of zinging in there right now but I'm so glad I went and I'm it was probably good for them to get some blood flow going in there so tomorrow I'll do better get stronger every day I love it I'm really wondering how Justin and Ethan are doing I think about them constantly out there hunting. I bet they're having a great time. Uh, they do have a, uh, it's called Garmin InReach, so they can text because there's no cell phone service out there. So they texted last night and said, hey dad, we're here. 
It's beautiful. I haven't seen any deer yet. Love you. So I know they're doing fine. I'll probably expect to hear from them tonight again. We just got some exciting news. Justin, or Ethan, one of them, I guess it was Ethan, just message with a, send a text with the inReach said, Justin just shot a nice two by two buck. We're so excited. Oh, we're so happy for Justin because Ethan shot a moose and I shot a grizzly bear and Justin hasn't shot anything yet. So good for him. We're so happy. We don't know any other details other than he just shot a buck. And it sends a link so we can look on the map exactly where he shot it. So I know exactly where he's at, which is so cool. It's just very neat. I can't wait to see what he got. Just so excited to see it. And I'm just guessing he's over the moon happy with all that. Guess where we are? <laughs> date night. It's our first real date night since the accident. Yep. And that was a whole month ago. Yep. Just yep. over a month. Yep. And this is such a beautiful place. It's yes. the first time we've been in this restaurant. Right. And it's overlooking uh, Wasilla Lake. Yep. So it's very pretty. And we're in this room by ourselves. We actually have right. a little room by ourselves. I'll show you around in a second. Yeah, I didn't think I would be able to get out of the house. My, feel, my heels were kind of barking. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I laid on my back a while. They started feeling better. So It was doing too much. Yeah, it, it was a little yeah. bit on my feet. But hey, every day is getting better. So I'm just grateful. I'm uh -huh. so thankful every day is getting better. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you around. We're kind of down in this hole here. And they have a curtain right here. A nice little area with a couple of couches and very nice view outside. What are you playing, Chloe? Uh, I'm not quite sure what it's called. Take one. <laughs> we are playing take one down here. And Chloe's helping daddy. And Justin and Ethan are somewhere in the woods trying to carry a deer out of the woods and it's 8.45. And we're a little bit concerned, but they keep texting us so we can see their location and I think they're gonna be fine. Yeah, okay, I'll get those, you can get those. Okay, six of those. What are you doing, Wyatt? Um, we're making a buffalo. Bison. Show me the buffalo. Picture. Okay, buffalo with just gobs of these Tiny little Legos. It looks very complicated. I think, why did we get it for your birthday or something? Um, yeah, yeah I think. So you had it for a little while. So now's the time to get it put together. Mm -hmm. And I told them I'd help them while I am laying here. But uh, yeah, I had a really good night. I'm so thankful for that. I actually slept probably five hours all together, just really grateful, maybe even more. So, so super thankful for that. And I uh, just wanna give you an update. Last night about 9.30, we got the last text from the boys saying they got made it back to camp. So, <laughs> amazing. They uh, definitely had a challenge. I think they got the deer around four o'clock, way, uh, way high on the mountain. And it got dark about, probably about six. So they've been, they were hiking like three and a half hours uh, with their headlamps, I'm sure, uh, through probably extremely thick alders and uh, stuff. So I can only imagine with heavy backpacks. So we'll see what their story is like. Um, I don't know if they're going to go out today or not because um, they just text every, every once in a while. So I'm not sure what their plan is. Haven't heard from them this morning, but uh, man, what an adventure. They're going to just have a good time. So good. Really making men out of them. They're already young men, but it's just... It was hard on them for not having dad along. I could tell it really affected them. Um, they really, really like to have me along and I, I'm so glad for that. It makes me, you know, I love that. But I did hunt with them for eight years. So they, they I imparted a lot of wisdom in them, but there's nothing like doing it by yourself, is it sometimes? So they have learned a lot on this trip, I'm sure. So the adventure is not over yet. We'll see what today brings and tomorrow for them. And then they'll probably be coming home. Oh, babe, what have you got cooking today? <laughs> well, we're having a really late breakfast. It's actually lunchtime. <laughs> it is. Look at that. It's noon. So I just decided to make some gooey chocolate chip bars by, I found the recipe at 
half-baked harvest. And then I made this sourdough breakfast pizza and I always get the recipe from Farmhouse on Boone. So delicious. Oh, can't wait to dig in. Well, would you look at that? You got it put together. Yeah. Very nice. That was how many pieces? Uh, 384? 84, yep. That's a lot of pieces. Good job. Avalon and Wyatt. Lots of tiny little pieces. Now you get yourself a beefalo. <laughs> Wyatt, my man, what's on the menu? Um, squirrel. <laughs> squirrel and gravy. Ooh, look at that. So yummy. It doesn't maybe look yummy, but it is. <laughs> and what's that, moose? That is bear meat, actually. Oh, bear. Okay. Um, yeah. Nice. Okay, ready? Set. Wait, wait. Set. Go. Brown, and it fits in a drawer. Oh. Teddy bear. Doesn't fit in the backpack. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's wrong, Chloe. <laughs> no, Chloe, you can't do it. Give Chloe a card. Okay, ready? Needs water. Okay, good job. Breakfast or dessert? Uh, what's this? Uh, breakfast? Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't think that's it. Yeah, it Chloe, huh? Breakfast? Dessert. Oh, okay. Um, Used any sport, and I'm done. Oh dear! Yeah. Yay! First time I won. Yeah. <laughs> Runs on electricity or gas? Oh, that's right, Chloe. Good job. Grill. Too heavy to lift. Dinosaur. Or is it two or three same letter two of together? Two same letters together. Good job, Wyatt. Has a handle. Who got the flashlight out? Me. Often found in a refrigerator. Mm. Uh, okay. Hot dogs and buns. I don't know. <laughs> Mostly metal. Meant to sit on or in. <laughs> Nobody. That's not the sit on or in. Nope. Pick up a card, girl. Okay. Hey, hey, check it out. Look at this snow and look at that sunset. It's beautiful, beautiful. Guys, we're going out uh, today. Uh, tonight, somebody invited us for dinner. And so Priscilla's driving the truck and it is really pretty. Oh, it's just beautiful. See if I can roll this window down. Oh, that is nice. So nice. Love it. Well, well, Justin, Ethan got back tonight and we are so happy. We, uh, they're already downstairs in bed. They're pretty tuckered out, but I'm so yeah. proud of them. Yeah, they told us the whole story, yeah. showed us a whole bunch of video <laughs> and pictures and we sat here for probably an hour. Yep. It's like 11 o'clock right now. And yeah, it's so nice to have them back home, yep. know that they're safe. And we'll get this on another video. Mm-hmm. And they had yeah. quite the story, so you're not going to want to miss that. I'm telling yeah. you, it was quite a great experience. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this week's video. We hope it was fun, interesting, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Mm -hmm. Lord bless you. You got him. You got him. You got him. He dropped. I can't see him. Yeah, I, he dropped. He, his head is down. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. yes! Okay, Justin just got a fish. Yeah. Oh, whoa, look at that. Wow. Wow! A silver gray rockfish.